Oh, I think he's a, thought you a bit part player at Collingwood at best. In his last 10 games, he's averaged seven disposals and hasn't kicked a goal. I think he's been exposed when he's been forward and at times has been a liability for Collingwood. If you're averaging seven touches in your last 10 with three marks and you're a forward, um, yeah, I think questions over your performance. Yeah, you got played for main. Mason Cox, tallest of a lot of them. I think Mason Cox doing some roving work. Mason Cox should get there, gets up there and you just... All career has been good for a goal a game. Clean down for one in this one. Remarkable story. Continues to hit a game. 100 perfect 10 votes yesterday from the coaches for Mason Cox. You're one of many that have doubted him at different times of his career, to be fair, and... He continues to defy the critics. Yeah. You're among them. From time to time. It's a, it's a great story. It's one of my favourite footy stories. About to play his 100th game and what, it, what a remarkable one it is. But, I mean, are you going to pull that quote out every time he plays a good game every now and then? Perfect, because because perfect you, you didn't pull it out when he had five touches in the prelim. You didn't pull it out when he had six in the qualifying final. Didn't he he's raise it when he had seven touches last best week? So if team in the competition. He's going to play best the, the, the odd ground. good game. And as I said, I love the story. But I still stand. He's a, he's a bit part player. When everyone is back into that he's more important than that to Collingwood. And Howe's back and Cameron's back. He will continue to be a bit part player. And um, I think at times he's been exposed to big games. You don't think he can improve enough to become a consistent player? Um, well, I think the body of work is there, Lord. I mean, he's 31, 32 years of age. He's played 100 games. I, I think that is there. He's an important piece, particularly with the injuries that they've got. Loved his game yesterday against a, a weakened opposition. But I think the jury's still out in, in big games. We had Daniel McStay on the Sunday footy show yesterday. And he had this to say about his time at Collingwood and Craig McRae. Craig's amazing. Uh, he's definitely one of the main components of the, the reasons why I wanted to come down to Collingwood. And um, he just makes everyone feel like um, they're the best player in the comp. And um, it really shows with how many guys that are in such uh, career best form. Isn't it amazing how he's got inside the heads of these players and, and the, f the smiles Mason, on the faces? Mason Cox is a coach's story, don't you think, yeah, to well, an extent? I mean, there's so many Craig on McC them. Yeah, but Craig McRae, he's just he's a changed man under yeah. Craig McRae. Like Braden Maynard, and there was a lot of players who spoke about how they lost their love for football, mm. whereas you've never seen a happier bunch of players enjoying what they're doing. And that winning helps, but they, they're winning for that reason, that the environment's so even good. watching, like, Bobby Hill and yeah. the effort that he is playing with as opposed to perhaps what he was at the Giants. So they're different players and it's not dissimilar to what Chris Scott did at Geelong last year. Build up the belief in the players. It's uh, it's been extraordinary. Uh, one performance that wasn't though was the Giants and some of the numbers yesterday were alarming. Now pre-game the coach Adam Kingsley was talking up their pressure. Well it's really important we take away their handball chains I think. You know that style of that run and gun overlap taking territory with handball is going to be difficult to stop but it's something we need to get done if we're a chance to win this game and obviously they're very good we need to be, you know, really proactive with our defence, looking to provide enormous pressure. I, I think we're number one pressure team in the last month. And that was true, and, and they've been so competitive, and the losses have been narrow, and the wins have been impressive, but it just speaks to how long the season goes for and how do you keep the group 29 engaged. 29 tackles, Kane. They laid two in the second quarter, Hutchie. Two, two tackles for a whole quarter of football. So it just shows to me how challenging a long season is with a group and Lord how you maintain the motivation for a full season of footy. There's a long, long way to go with this group. It's in danger of really dropping away badly. So you're concerned about that? Yeah, I just yeah. The, it, once your effort goes like that and, and when you're fresh at the start of the season, the weather's good, you're fit off a of pre-season, it's easier to if do it, that. It gets long and harder. What's a fair season for the Giants, you think? How many um, wins? Eight. And they should get there. If you're hanging your hat on uh, effort and defensive work and you have three tackles in the second quarter and six in the last quarter, you're in for a long season.